Hey, Edens. Trying another one of my uh, my uh, little Sam Adams mix thing. This one is the Brown Ale. This video is about vestigial organs. Okay. Now, vestigial organs are one of the key things about evolution, but most creationists don't understand what that means. They think that if it has any kind of purpose whatsoever, that that means it's not a, a vestigial at all. It's not the way it works. It's, it, is, it has reduced itself down to the point that it has lost its primary function. It may have a secondary function, but its primary function is gone. So what is the top 10 useless, limb, or useless limbs and other vestigial organs? According to LiveScience.com, number 10, wings on flightless birds. Now, yeah, I know what you're going to say, uh, Mr. Creationist. Oh, but some use it for mating rituals and blah, blah, blah. They're wings. They're supposed to be made for flying. That's why they have feathers, and yet they don't fly. C come on. Number nine, the hind leg bones of a whale. Oh, but no, that's for his penis. I actually read that somewhere else. It's supposed to be a penis support for the whale. Okay. Um, as it points out here that these limbs uh, can still be seen on the modern whale. Um, there are many cases where whales have been found with rudimentary hind limbs in the wild. Um, most of these examples are of whales that had only leg bones, but there are some that include feet with complete digits. Don't think he needs hands to support his penis. Okay, anyway, that's getting gross. Alright, number eight. Body hair and erector uh, uh, phyli, feli, I don't know how you say it. Anyway, goosebumps. Okay? Um, basically what you have here is, that, you know, I, I talked about in my uh, not-so-intelligent design in my Way of the Master things, I talked about the hair being useless. And I said, no, it keeps in heat. Oh well, yeah, well, what about this hair here? Okay? Body hair is useless. Um, they, they, it serves us no point. It, uh, it goes into all that. Uh, of course, some, some hair has been found to be um, beneficial. Um, whether it be the shading of your head or keeping the heat in and the cold of the top of your hair, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, which is kind of why that stuff sticks around. Um, but, uh, you know, as far as your actual body hair, no good. Um, and the goosebumps, what they, you know, other animals have the exact same thing. It fluffs up their body, they look bigger and meaner, and so maybe a, an attacker would leave them alone. Whereas with us, you know, that doesn't do us any good. You're not going to see my, that come up. Number seven, the tailbone. Okay. Some claim that, oh yeah, well this is used for, you know, your muscles and your butt. Does very little to help that, but that's not the point. The little bit that's left over that's used for that, okay, all right, yeah, fine, but there's a little bit more, and for some people, a lot more, even, there are even children who were born with an actual tail. Uh, and it talks about how they would have been killed and considered witches once upon a time. Number six. Blind fish. Okay. Estaniax uh, mexicanus. And I probably said that completely, totally wrong. Um, they have eyes, but they can't see. None of them. Completely, totally useless. They cannot see. But they live in like the deepest, darkest parts where there's basically no light, so they don't need them. Um, so there's, they're just kind of left over, but they can't see. They put them into places where uh, there was more light, they still couldn't see. Uh, so they know that they're blind. They even, this is the cool part, um, they even took a, removed a lens um, from a surface dwelling fish and implanted it into the eye of the blind fish. And that within eight days, the eye started to develop beneath the skin. And after two months, the fish had developed a large functioning eye with a pupil, cornea, and iris. Anyway, they were blind, but now they see. Praise Jeebus. Number five, wisdom teeth in humans. Some of our ancestors used their wisdom teeth. Um, you know, this thought maybe that the idea of losing teeth, the wisdom teeth came in and replaced some of that you might might lose. But now with dental um, things as they are, most people lose their wisdom teeth. Guess what? I still have mine. Um, got a big mouth, what can I say? 
Never had to have mine pulled. Uh, number four. The sexual organs of dandelions. Now, number four and number three are very, very interesting to a certain person who is bugging the crap out of me not too long ago. And do not send me another private message. I will block you so fast. Um, some, you know, a lot of them like to this whole asexual to sexual thing. All right. Anyway, I had another guy and explained to him that he didn't have a clue about it. He just needed to go read a book because I didn't have time to explain to him. The sexual organs of dandelions comes in at number four. Okay. Um, flowers, like animals, have uh, proper organs which are used for sexual reproduction, just like male and female parts. Uh, the stamen and the pistil. Um, go look it up. I'm not going to go into it. It's rather uh, detailed. Uh, but dandelions reproduce without fertilization. Okay, so they don't have to worry about any of that. Um, they basically have cl they clone themselves, and uh, they're very successful at it. Just go look at your yard. Um, anyway, so but they still have the parts. They just don't use them. So that's number four. Number three, and one of my favorites. The virgin whiptail lizards, vestigial behavior, they have sex, but they don't have sex. These lizards um, are all female, or at least they're, they're mostly female. Now, every now and then you get a male, but basically they're all females. And the females do not need another female to lay an egg and have an offspring. They clone themselves, just like the dandelions. Here's this, this multicellular organism reptile that can reproduce without a male. Now, they are still seen to have sexual behavior. They don't have to do it. Though there are studies that have shown that the, whichever one is on the bottom tends to produce more eggs than the one on top. But they don't need each other. So you see here a, you know, a possible little you know, change there, you know, if you go in reverse, that would find that asexual can become sexual and reverse. Uh, very neat. Um, go, go check out the link and read up on that whole thing and then go look up um, parthenogenesis, uh, par parthenogenesis, there we go. Uh, it's uh, really, really interesting. Mostly it's all lower animals, but um, this is an excellent example of something that happens further up. Number two, male breast tissue and nipples. Kind of goes without saying. Um, don't really have to explain that. Men don't need nipples, yet we still have them. Uh, we even, some of us, lactate. But the number one, the human appendix. Now, some people like to claim that the human appendix has a function. Oh, it's got things inside it, and it does this, and it does that. All right, what is the human appendix? A small pouch attached to the large intestine where it joins the small intestine but it doesn't assist digestion. And every suggestion people say where it has this and that or the other also doesn't help digestion. Um, but here's the real key of the whole thing. You have a brain, you have eyes, you have a, a heart, lungs, kidneys, a liver, a spleen, um, uh, intestines, a stomach. You have all these organs inside your body and so do every other creature out there, all the other mammals have these exact same things. Okay, they all have these same things, except for this one. Other creatures have a full appendix that actually does something. It breaks down plant cellulose, and ours doesn't. Ours is dried up and shriveled and pointless. Meanwhile, it causes 300,000 appendectomies and 371 deaths from appendicitis. So while it may have some minor thing that you might think might have something to do with something, it has lost its function. Anyway, so that's the list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you got the link. Check it out. Look into it in more detail. I, I, I wish that there were more that were, were in this list, but hey, we're doing a top 10 and things like toenails and your gallbladder and other things like that. Uh, you know, we just can't really compete with lizards that can have sex, or a lizard that can have offspring without having sex. So, um, don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.